open season. What's going on guys, it's the Ben. I hope y'all having a blessed day today. And if you enjoy having open conversation to your favorite season, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's go. The 49ers should have never selected Trey Lance with the number three pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. And this was clear then. Trey Lance was unproven as a college player. On top of that, he was playing at a lower tier school. Now the buzz for Trey Lance began in 2019 when he was a redshirt freshman for the North Dakota State Bisons. He led them to an undefeated season capturing the FCS championship. In that season, he put up some numbers, 28 touchdowns to no interception, ran for 1,100 yards with 14 rushing touchdowns. Pretty solid. Again, Lance was playing a weaker competition in the FCS division, while you had his counterpart in Justin Fields playing a higher level of competition in the Big Ten for Ohio State. And in that same 2019 season, Fields had 41 touchdowns to 3 interceptions, completing 67% of his passes alongside 10 rushing touchdowns. And he was in contention for the Heisman. The following year, he was the favorite to win the Heisman and had a rematch against the Clemson Tiger, in which he lost to the previous year. But this time, Fields destroyed, annihilated the Tigers threw for 385 yards with 6 TDs. He was on point, dealing, showing that he can not only run, but can also throw the football proficiently. This punched his ticket to the national championship against Alabama, which they did lose to, but Fields showed that he was a top prospect. At one point, he was projected to even be the number one pick in the NFL draft. The same Tigers that he defeated he played against the eventual number one pick in Trevor Lawrence. But at one point, it was kind of dicey on who to choose. So it's kind of surprising when Lance goes number three, then Fields falls down all the way to number 11. Make that make sense? Nah, it actually makes sense. Trey Lance was this unknown prospect with so much potential. His upside was through the roof, 6'3", 221 pounds, Cannon of an arm, athletic, dual threat quarterback, ran for 1,100 yards with 12 rushing touchdowns. You could start projecting the type of player that he would be in the NFL, perhaps a smaller version of Josh Allen, another player who came from a smaller school. Whereas Justin Fields, you had the tape. His body of work was there. It was easier to nitpick his game. Trey Lance was the novelty. Though the 49ers are finding out the hard way that this novelty has a lot of growing pains. He is just experiencing true competition in the preseason. The things he could get away with in college, no longer. His weaknesses greater than ever. 